Paper and cloth masks don't provide a tight seal between their edges and your face. This means that while they offer some protection against COVID-19 when social distancing isn't an option, some of the droplets that carry the virus can still get into your lungs or out into the world. In contrast, a respirator is designed to fit snugly against your face, keeping more of what you breathe out away from others and more of what others exhale away from you. There's no kind way to say it. The Ottawa Curve looks like an athletic cup. It's the first thought I had when I unboxed it. After sending her a selfie of me wearing it, it was the first thing my wife told me when she got home from work. While worn, the respirator's plastic and silicone frame provides a triangle of protection from the top of the nose to just below the mouth. Its aesthetic is easy to forgive. However, its smaller size makes it easier to maintain that all-important seal against the wearer's skin. Additionally, as the respirator doesn't cover the chin, it can comfortably be donned while wearing a bicycle or motorcycle helmet. With its chin strap secured, the silicon trim that lines the inside edge of the Ottawa Curve created a tight seal against my skin. The respirator is held tightly in place by padded, elastic ear loops, which can be adjusted to fit most people. Sadly, I'm not most people my skull is absolutely massive. When wearing the Ottawa Curve using the ear loops it ships with, I found the respirator uncomfortable to wear for an extended period of time. Switching the ear loops out for Ottawa's optional sports strap made wearing the Ottawa Curve significantly more comfortable. Further customization can be found in the fact that Ottawa industry ships their respirator size either for high bridge noses or low bridge noses. The respirator ships with a white plastic cone that, when attached, sandwiches the respirator's replaceable filter material between it and the Ottawa Curve silicon and plastic frame. If white's not your color, you can buy a replacement shell from Ottawa Industries in black, blue, or red. It's important to note that this respirator was originally made to protect commuters and folks working in dusty or smoky environments, not slowing viral transmission. As such, its design includes two one-way valves located at the base of the respirator. These valves allow your exhaled breath to escape, putting those around you at greater risk of infection in the unfortunate event that you got COVID-19. To mitigate this, Outwell Industries will soon be selling silicone valve plugs to ensure that the only air that gets out of the mask does so through the respirator's filter. I was able to take these plugs for a spin during testing and found that, while condensation from my breath quickly built up inside of the mask, there was no discernible difference in how comfortably I was able to breathe. Ottawa Industries sells replacement filters through their online shop, available either as a one-off purchase or via a monthly subscription. Buying filters obviously raises the cost of the respirator's ownership over time. However, investing in disposable surgical masks or buying fabric face coverings will put you out of pocket I haven't contracted COVID-19 yet, but this likely has more to do with my living in relative seclusion and following strict protocols designed to keep me alive in the Ottawa curve. I've got a heart condition that places me well within the range of high-risk individuals for the virus, so I'm pretty cautious. However, this past September, there wasn't anything I could do to escape the smoke from California's wildfires. As the amount of smoke in the air increased, I found it harder to breathe which, in turn, Screwed with my heart rate something my cardiologist wasn't cool with. I did what I could to stay safe, by staying indoors and keeping our windows closed. But the problems persisted. After a few days of putting up with this, my Ottawa Curve sample arrived. I wore it for hours on the first day and found that my symptoms began to subside. I then took the respirator off that night and went to bed. When I woke up, I found that my symptoms had returned. Over the next few days, I wore the Ottawa Curve almost constantly, including when I went to bed changing out the filter every other day. While wearing it full-time was the most comfortable experience, it was preferable to the physical distress I was in. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you are helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.